Ito na tayo sa case 4 ng integration by partial fractions. So, kailan ba siya case number 4? So, case 4, when the denominator of proper rational fraction contains repeated non-factorable quadratic factors. So, ito yung general form ng repeated non-factorable quadratic factor. ax squared plus bx plus c raised to n. So, kaya yung ating case number 4 ay tinawag na quadratic repeated. Ngayon, to its repeated non-factorable quadratic factor, ax squared plus bx plus c raised to n, so, there corresponds a partial fractions of the form a times 2ax plus b plus b divided by ax squared plus bx plus c. And then plus c times 2ax plus b plus d divided by ax squared plus bx plus c squared until we reach the exponent n. Say, uh, m times 2ax plus b plus n divided by ax squared plus bx plus c raised to n. Where this 2ax plus b is, again, the derivative of ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay? So, let us have example about this case number 4. So, this is our example about this case. No? Integral of 2x to the 5th minus 2x to the 4th plus 3x cubed minus 7x squared minus 5x minus 2 all over x times x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared dx. So this belongs to case number 4 because x squared plus 2x plus 2 is non-factorable and it is repeated. Inuulit siya. No? Okay. Pangalawa natin alamin ay yung kung proper ba o improper itong given na rational fraction. So, yung ating numerator ay degree 5. At ang ating denominator, ito ay degree 4 times x ay degree 5 din. So, dahil ang degree ng numerator ay equal sa degree ng denominator, then the rational fraction is an improper rational fraction ano? and the integral of improper fraction equals to the integral of its quotient plus the integral of its remainder kaya una, inakailangan muna natin i-divide yung numerator sa denominator at kung i-divide natin yung ating numerator sa denominator kinakailangan natin expand ang x x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared. So, unahin mo natin i-multiply yung expand ang x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared. So, meron tayong x squared uh, plus 2x plus 2 squared. So, expand natin ito. Okay, so sa expansion ito, gumamit tayo ng uh, formula para sa squared ng trinomial no? u plus v plus w squared so equal ito sa u squared and then plus b squared plus w squared and then plus 2 times u times v. And then plus 2 times u 
and then times W and then plus 2 times V times W okay so yan yung gagamitin nating formula sa expansion ng x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared so ang u natin ay x squared ang v natin ay 2x at ang w natin ay 2 so x squared squared ay x to the fourth so nagkaroon tayo ng x to the fourth 2x squared ay 4x squared so plus 4x squared and then 2 squared ay 4 and then plus no. So, 2 times u times v. So, 2 times 2x is 4x times x squared is 4x cubed. So, sulat mo na natin. So, 2 times u na x squared and then times 2x. Ayan. And then plus no? 2 and then times u again. Yung u natin ay x squared. So times x squared. And then times w. Yung w natin ay 2. So times 2. And then plus. And then yung 2 na ito. No? And then times v. So yung v natin ay yung 2x. So times 2x. And then times w. W natin ay yung 2 na ito. Ano? So, times 2. So, kakaroon tayo ng x to the fourth. And then plus 4x squared. And then plus 4. And then plus. So, 2x times 2 is 4x times x squared is 4x cubed. So, 4 x cubed and then plus so I will have 4x squared 4x squared and then 2 times 2x times 2 is 8x 8x so meron tayong x to the fourth plus 4x cubed And then 4x squared plus 4x squared, 8x squared. And then plus 8x. And then plus 4. So this is equal to x squared plus 2x and then plus 2 squared. Now, let us now multiply that x to the expansion of x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared. So I will have x and then times x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared equals. So this will become x to the fifth, 4x to the fourth. And then plus 8x cubed. And then plus 8x squared. And then plus 4x. Okay. So let us divide now this 2x the fifth minus 2x the fourth plus 3x cubed minus 7x squared minus 5x minus 2 to the expansion of our denominator. So, our divisor is x to the fifth and then plus 4x to the fourth and then plus 8x cubed plus 8 x squared and then plus 4x 
And our dividend is uh, our numerator. So the numerator is 2x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus 7x squared minus 5x minus 2 so okay so 2x to the fifth divided by x to the fifth of course the answer is 2 so let's multiply 2 to our divisor so I will have 2x to the fifth plus 8 x to the 4 and then plus 16 x cubed and then plus 16 x squared and then plus 8x plus 8x Okay, let us subtract. So I will have 0, negative 10 x to the fourth. So, negative 10 x to the fourth. And then negative 16 plus 3. So I will have negative 13 x cubed negative 16 plus negative 7 is negative 23 x squared and then negative 8x plus negative 5x is negative 13x and then bring down that negative 2 okay so the quotient is 2 and we have a remainder of negative 10x to the fourth minus 13x cubed minus 23x squared minus 13x minus 2 divided by this divisor or uh, x times x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared dahil yung ating divisor ay dito galing so as I've said the integral of an improper fraction is equal to the integral of the quotient plus the integral of the remainder. So let us rewrite again the problem. So our problem is integral of 2x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus 7x squared minus 5x minus 2 divided by x and then times x squared plus 2x plus 2 and then squared dx so this also equal to the integral of the quotient so the quotient is 2 and then plus the remainder negative 10 x to the fourth minus 13 x cubed minus 23 x squared minus 13 x minus 2 all over and then x 
times x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared. So, x times x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared. And then times dx. Okay. So, ngayon natin, paghiwalay natin yung integration ng bawat term. So, meron tayong 2 integral of dx. So, dito sa ating numerator, lahat na yan ay negative. So, lalabas natin yung negative. So, negative times positive will become negative. So, integral of. So, lahat na nito ngayon ay magiging positive. So, meron tayong 10x do fourth plus 13x cubed minus 23x squared o plus and then plus 13x and then plus 2 so divided by and then x and then times x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared dx so yung integral nito ngayon ay in equal siya sa integral of its partial fractions. Uh, at ito ay case number 4 dahil ang isang factor ng ating denominator ay quadratic. No, Non-factorable at inuulit. Kaya siya under case number 4. So let us now resolve this uh, proper rational fraction into its partial fractions. So, meron tayong 10x to the fourth. Oh. 10x to the fourth. 10x to the fourth plus 13x cubed. And then plus 23 x squared and then plus 13 x and then plus 2 divided by huh? so meron tayong x huh? x times x squared plus 2x and then plus 2 squared. So, it will give us a partial fractions of so, para sa x meron tayong a divided by x. At para naman sa x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared, magkakaroon tayo ng b no? times yung derivative na x squared plus 2x plus 2 na 2x plus 2 and then plus c huh? divided by x squared plus 2x plus 2 x squared plus 2x and then plus 2 okay next so magkakaroon din tayo ng plus d no times 2x plus 2 and then plus e divided by and then x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared okay. so dahil na reach na natin yung exponent 2 so hanggang dito na lang tayo no? pero kung cube diyan so, magkakaroon pa tayo ng another term plus f times 2x plus 2 plus g divided by x squared plus 2x plus 2 cubed. Oh. Okay, so, after that, you know, both sides ay mumultiply natin ng 
x and x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared. So, x times x squared plus 2x and then plus 2 squared. So, ito, pag minultiply natin dito sa left side ng no, ating equation, cancel x, x squared plus 2x plus 2. So, maritiran tayo ng 10 x to the 4 plus 13 x cubed plus 23 x squared plus 13 x and then plus 2 equals so ito pag multiply natin dito sa sa may ax no? multiply natin sa dyan cancel ang x. Manitira ang x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared. So, magkakaroon tayo ng a times x squared plus 2x and then plus 2 squared. So, naman, pag minultiply natin dito, so 2x plus 2 times b, no, cancel lang isang x squared plus 2x plus 2. Matitiran siya ng isang x squared plus 2x plus 2. So, meron tayong plus b. So, times yung 2x plus 2 na yun. And then, times yung x na ito, no? x. And then, times yung isang x squared plus 2x plus 2. So, x squared. And then, plus 2x plus 2 and then plus so ito pag may multiply natin dito sa C no? so cancel yung isang x squared plus 2x plus 2 so maritira yung C at saka yung x at saka yung x squared plus 2x plus 2 no? so x squared plus 2x plus 2 ok dito naman Pag multiply natin siya rito, no, cancel ang x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared. So, matitira na lang ay x. So, plus d times 2x plus 2 and then times x. No? And then, ito naman, pag multiply natin dito sa e, cancel ang x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared. Matitira na lang ng x. So, plus E x uh, plus E x. Okay. So, dito, sa pag-solve ng values ng A, ng B, ng C, ng D, at saka ng E, no? ay gamitin natin ang equating coefficients of like powers of x. So, kinakailangan natin itong i-expand. No? Expand natin yan. Okay. So, meron tayong expansion ng x squared plus 2x plus 2. At equal siya sa x to the fourth plus 4x cubed plus 8x squared plus 8x plus 4. So, kukopyay na lang natin yun. So, kakaroon tayo ng a times no? So, x to the fourth plus 4x cubed and then plus 8x squared plus 8x and then plus 4. Okay. Dito naman, no? Let us first multiply 2x plus 2 and x and then let us multiply it to x squared plus 2x plus 2. Ah. Okay? So, gawin natin dito sa lugar na ito. So, meron tayong 2x plus 2 times x. So, magiging 2x squared. And then plus 2x. So, mumultiply natin ito sa 
x squared plus 2x plus 2. So, x squared plus 2x plus 2. So, 2x squared times x squared ay 2x to the fourth. 2x squared times 2x ay 4x cubed. So, plus 4x cubed. And then, 2x squared times 2 ay 4x squared. Okay? So, 2x times x squared ay 2x cubed. And then, 2x times 2x ay 4x squared. So, plus 4x squared. And then, 2x times 2 ay 4x. So, plus 4x. So, let us add. So, we have 2x to the fourth. And then, plus 6x cubed plus 8x squared plus 4x. Okay. So, yun yung x expansion ng 2x plus 2 x and x squared plus 2x plus 2 so plus b ah. and then times so kukopyahin ko na lang yung expansion niya 2x to the fourth plus 6x cubed plus 8x squared plus 4x ah. Okay, hey, so ito naman, no? yung x mo multiply natin sa loob. So, plus c, and then times x cubed, plus 2x squared, and then plus 2x. Ito rin, mumultiply natin yung x sa loob, no? and then plus d, ha? And then times 2x squared. And then plus 2x. No, plus 2x. So itong x na ito, multiply natin dito. And then plus ex. Okay. So ngayon, ang gagawin natin ay ihiwalay natin yung coefficients ng x to the fourth, x cubed, uh, x squared and so on, no? Pukuha niyo natin yung mga coefficients niya. Okay, so equals. So, para sa x to the fourth, meron tayong a. a. And then, plus 2b. No? Plus 2b. Plus 2b. Okay, so wala nang x to the fourth, no? Yung lang dalawa na yun, a plus 2b. A plus 2B. So, times X to the fourth. And then, plus. Para naman sa X cubed. No? Meron tayong 4A. 4A. And then, plus 6B. No? So, plus 6B. And then, plus C. Huh? Plus C. Plus C. And then, times X cubed. Para naman sa X squared, huh? meron tayong 8A. 8A. So, meron tayong 8A. And then, plus 8 B. No, 8B. Plus 8B. And then, plus 2C. No, plus 2C. Plus 2C. And then, plus 2D. No, 2D. Plus 2D. And then, times x squared. Okay. Para naman sa x. Now, meron tayong 8a. 
So, plus 8A sa X. 8A. And then, plus 4B. So, plus 4B. Plus 2C. Plus 2C. And then, plus 2D. And then, plus E. Oh, plus E. At sa constant naman, ay meron tayong 4A. 4A. So, plus 4A. Plus 4A. Okay? So, yan ay equal sa 10x to the 4th. Oh. 10x to the 4th plus 13x squared or 13x cubed plus 23x squared plus 13x and then plus 2 so equal siya sa a plus 2b times x the 4th plus 4a plus 6b plus c times x cubed and then plus 8a plus 8b plus 2c plus 2d times x squared and then plus 8a plus 4b plus 2c plus 2d plus e times x so ito ay times x no and then plus 4a yung ating constant so we will continue this next in our next video